This is the end of course practice test for Algebra 2. Question number 14. Question number 14 is really simple, but it looks complicated. It's not. Um, just think of it in terms of a coordinate plane. In a coordinate plane, we'd have this axis here would represent the x, and up and down represent y, right? Well, we would look and find the values. We'd go on the x-axis and find the x is negative 3, and we'd find that the y is 2. So if this were a coordinate plane, I would do that little number would be pretty simple. It's almost just as easy here, except we have to reevaluate what the axis is determined. So in this case, I've got the real axis is the x, so my real value is negative 3, which means it's just a number. Uh, whereas 2, my y, represents my imaginary. Also very easy. So I'm going to go on the I'm going to look for something that has a real value of negative 3 and an imaginary value of 2. And when I talk about imaginaries, I'm talking about i, so 2i. So I'm looking for something that has negative 3 and 2i. And there it is. It's f, negative 3 plus 2i. It's really simple. Just graph it up like you would normally.